Suppose the point P lies on the unit circle in quadrant 2. And then we're told, here's the x-coordinate, negative 7 ninths. What's the y-coordinate? Well, um, I can draw a unit circle on this coordinate plane here. This, let's see if this works. There we go. And I'm told that there's a point P in quadrant 2 on that unit circle. So just pick a point in quadrant 2. Okay, It doesn't really matter too much where you draw it as long as it's in quadrant 2. That's going to be P. Now the x coordinate is negative 7 over 9. Okay, so that would be like negative 7 over 9, comma y. I don't know what y is, that's what we're looking for. But the way you figure this out is remember, even if you don't have a special angle that you're dealing with, and 7 ninths is clearly not special, it's not like 1 half or radical 3 over 2, you can still draw a, uh, I want a thicker triangle here, you can still draw a triangle to help you through this, and then label the sides of the triangle. Okay, so there's my quadrant two triangle, and let's label the sides. The x side is negative seven ninths, because it's going to the left by seven ninths. The y side, I don't know. What's the hypotenuse? Well, remember that phrase, p lies on the unit circle. Okay, p lies on the unit circle. That means the hypotenuse must be one, because the unit circle has a radius of one. And here's why. So can we solve this using Pythagorean's theorem? I think we can. Let's say the x leg squared plus the y leg squared equals the hypotenuse squared. Hypotenuse is 1 squared. So that makes hmm, 49 over 81 plus y squared equals 1. So y squared equals 1 minus 49 over 81. Don't forget your common denominators. That'll make this easier. That's 81 over 81. Okay, 81 minus 49. Uh, math. I think that's 32 over 81. Uh, yep, that looks good. So then, y, don't forget to square root it. y is the square root of 32 over 81. And you can just write that if you want, or you could write the square root of 32 over 9. It will accept both answers. But that's what this problem is about. You have to locate your triangle on the standard coordinate plane using the information given, and then solve the triangle.